All right, so next up, we're looking at somebody that goes by the name of Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. Who is she? I don't know. We're going to watch a couple of clips of Maddie here, and we're going to well, we're going to just see if we can even hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. See if you can identify anything resembling the gospel of Jesus Christ. I guess there's what they titled here a, a mass deliverance happening here. If you look at her channel, 244,000 subscribers, so just an incredible reach. Uh, but anyway, she we're going to listen to a couple of clips. Let's go ahead and roll that first one. Open your spirit. Let the Holy Ghost come in. Open your spirit. Let the sun shine in. You came all this way. You can't stay in control if you begin to open up your mouth. And begin to speak the language of the Holy Ghost. Begin to speak the language of the Spirit. Well, that went south fast. Uh, I'm guessing that Dr. Maddie here. Well, she's more than likely an expert in creating frenzies. Her voice went down about 27 octaves, and she just began rattling out rat -a -tat -tat tats And the mostly female audience, well, they just started inviting Kundalini in, it seems, and they were off and running. Uh, that's probably what they want. That's what they want, and that's very sad. So far, no gospel. But maybe that will change in clip number two. Let's roll it. Every, I lose you. 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 In the realm of the spirit, I release you from every bondage. I release you from every stronghold. So, question, how many times does a prophetess have to speak, I lose you, before one gets loosed? Is it 10? Is it 20 times? I don't know. Asking for a friend. Um, but after she does that, she then apparently releases them, and then she begins to blow spittle into the microphone. And yes, we unequivocally know that demons hate it when you blow spittle. It's a very effective tool. We all remember when the Apostle Peter, in dealing with demons, he was in Jerusalem. He began to also blow spittle on those demons. And then the, the demons, they just went berserk and they flew out into, uh, um, oh, no, oh, wait, no, none of that's biblical. None of it's biblical. It's childish at best. It's ridiculous. But the paying theater going participants, right? They eat it up. They love it. They are loving it. They're all in the midst of a spittle bomb frenzy. And there's still the best to come. Roll the next clip. You serpent in my body, you serpent spirit, you serpent spirit, in the name of Jesus, I kill you, 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 I destroy 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 you. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. I got a little scared when Maddie started chanting to the serpent, you know, I kill you, I kill you. I kind of believed her. Maddie looks like she could take down the whole New York Giants defensive line. 
Uh, but yeah, Maddie Nottage up on stage, killing serpents, destroying them. Also, again, how many times does one have to say, I kill you before the serpent dies? Again, just really curious. Is it seven, eight, nine times? I don't know. And uh, if that does work by just speaking death to these serpents, why doesn't she just speak death over all the serpents in the world and just kill them all permanently? You know, so we don't have to attend these frenzy spittle bomb roll arounds because, you know, all the serpents will be dead and we could just all live happily ever after. Can we just do that? No. I guess not, huh? Oh, I see. It seems like something else is afoot here. Uh, anyway, so no gospel preached, no death, burial, or resurrection of Jesus Christ preached. So just more Kundalini theater, which only serves to prop up somebody like Dr. Prophetess Spittlebaum Maddie Nottage. I don't like it, don't need it. I'll stick with my Bible. So certainly I would recommend avoid this woman. And let's move on to our final segments.